I am so stoked with how this movie came out. I hope you liked it. Considering I did it 99.9% .9 by myself, except for two little shots, which I'll get to in a little bit. Like my first short horror film, Edersack, I did completely by myself. Nobody else was involved. This very slight, and I had an actor, Tara, she played the psych ward doctor. So I had somebody else acting in it too. But other than that, it was just me, which it all looks good on paper. It's like, oh, this would be cool. And so you start doing it by yourself and you're like, oh, this is a fucking nightmare. Why didn't I at least try to find other people? But most people are flakes and they'll say they'll do it or they won't or they come to help and they get bored and realize it's actual work and not just boom, boom, done. Um... The movie itself is a visual representation of, well, the character, so it opens with his soul being taken. So what does that look like? So I made what I think it looks like when your soul is being taken. So he goes through all these evil things um, because his mom was involved or forced into satanic ritual stuff and she was abused raped and he was born out of it so that's how it comes to and then it opens up you can hear slight screams and uh that's his soul being taken over and then it goes into everything the original idea that started this wasn't even in this, the whole, it all evolved so much. I still have the original ideas written down that I'm gonna use somewhere else in time if it works out. Cause uh, it just changed so much. But doing it by yourself, it, me, my camera and my tripod, which works right now, but it's kind of broken from this filming session. I did this movie the last week of July in a couple days into August. 2020 it was fucking hot as hell so doing all this with the makeup and everything was a fucking nightmare because I have to close all my windows in my apartment so you don't get the sound so it just gets that much hotter and it doesn't matter even at midnight it's still 85 asshole degrees outside um, the first the scene where my character wakes up and I come into the kitchen where it's covered in plastic wrap and blood everywhere and there's this demon guy with a head doing sexual stuff. On paper, that sounded great. But as soon as I started to set up and um, get the blood everywhere, I realized plastic hanging and fake blood. In my head, it was gonna be all this blood everywhere and it would look rad. No, the fake blood's thin, so when it landed on the plastic, it just ran down. And settled on the bottom. So it was kind of hard to see, so I had to keep like throwing it on real quick behind me where I was so you can kind of see it which then because I had the floor with plastic the floor was um is that recording oh it is I forgot I turned the red light off so you can't tell um so the plastic on the floor with all the fake blood it became so fucking slippery so I'm trying to do this shit and I'm slipping and sliding everywhere. And it was just, it was so hot in here. Um, and then working with fake blood, you do a scene. I trip and fall and fall in to the blood on the ground. I fucked it up the first take. Now I'm covered in all this blood, so I had to like stop, wash it all off the best I could. You could still kind of see it on me. 
and do it again. Oh, I just get so aggravating. It was such a nightmare. And then I did this, that, my part, stopped, then switched to the other character. Where I put the white contacts in, covered myself in the grease paint, and then did all that. Thought it, thought filming that would take, I was like, yeah, it'll take like two hours maybe. I started at like nine o'clock when it got dark out. Fucking didn't finish until like two in the morning. I was like, oh no, bit off a little more than I can chew on that. But it turned out good. Everything turned out pretty much the way I wanted it to. And then the scene, oh, then he, I get scared through. The, the scene with the clown was different the way it started. I was supposed to get dragged out of bed. But I thought having a movie where a character wakes up so many times with those false reality thinking you're in real life, but it's a dream. I was like, I don't want to do that. So I fell through and then that red light. Oh man, what a fucking nightmare that was. Cause it was so hard to like see what I was doing. I'm trying to check the camera. I think it's right. And I had a fog machine going. So I'm like watching playback and I'm like, I think that looks good. I don't even know. I can't tell. So I did all that. And then I had the fog machine going when I was the clown. And I did it, and it actually ended up looking good, but I didn't use those takes. I decided just not to use the fog machine, which ruined time because it seemed like too much. Then it took like 45 minutes for me to get it all out of my apartment. I had to open everything up and get fans going because it just lingered, and it just seemed, it didn't look cool. So the fog machine on paper sounded good, but was a fucking nightmare. Uh... Then what happens after that? Oh, and then I wake up. Then I wake up there with the clown nose on, which I thought of right there on the spot. That wasn't written in. I was like, oh, what if I just, because it came with the package of clown makeup. So I was like, oh, let's put the nose on real quick. So it seems like he's waking up from a dream, but it was actually real. Because he's in this demon world where his soul's being taken. He's living... I don't even, I actually don't even fucking know what the fuck I was doing. I was just doing shit that looked cool. I thought it looked cool. And then he go into the bathroom. Oh, yeah. It's so hard to film and make sure everything looks good and the camera's right by yourself again. And while you're duct taped. Like, I put duct tape over my mouth, put it around my feet, and, like, duct tape in your hands. I put a little bit, put it... <sighs> Got it around so it looked, and it actually was kind of tight. Then the fall back in the bathtub, that took two takes, because when I fell back the first time, I kind of half-assed it. Because I was a little scared. And so I was like, well, I gotta fucking do that again anyways. And oh, and plus the first time when I went under, my mouth was taped, all the water went in my nose, so I just panicked and got out. And that fucked my rest of my day because I just felt like I had fake blood water up my nose all day. Um, the second time, I just went for it and I fell back. And you can see my right shoulder clips like the porcelain. That fucking hurt for days after. I woke up the next day and I, I couldn't even move my arm and I forgot that was the reason why. I was like, what the fuck happened with my arm? I thought I just slept wrong. And then when I was watching the footage back when I was editing, I was like, oh, I hit my shoulder on the bathtub. So I did all that and then I wake, I come to in the river, which is, this is the only scene where I had outside help because I needed somebody to wear the glove to grab my shoulder and then grab me by the neck. So I called a former coworker who was actually didn't work with us anymore. I think that's why he was free <laughs> um, to help me. I paid him 20 bucks, but that literally took a half hour. But I was like, well, since you're fucking here too, go on the bridge and film me crawling out of the water. And then we did it again. I was like, stand down here and film me getting out of the water and stuff. So I at least had some kind of moving shots instead of everything on a tripod. Cause that gets annoying. I wish I had more, but like moving shots, but it's hard to find help. And I don't have the money to fucking pay everybody because I'm going to pay you if you're going to help me. So that worked out. And then the next scene is choking me and it's like the flashing. And then I come to in my kitchen. Fuck, that was perfect. 
and I fall. I plan that out to fall, and I put all these dishes in the dish rack. So when I fall, I kind of grab it. They fall, hit me in the head. That fucking hurt. Um, but that scene was all different. I kind of rewrote that on the like the night before because I didn't. It just didn't feel right. And I, I it's, that's hard to even watch back because I fucking hate uh, watching myself act, and I'm like trying to fake cry and shit. And it was just like Jesus Christ, this is. Uh, I was like. I don't know if this works or not because I'm trying to act and then watching it back. Ugh. And, uh, but that ended up working good. Oh, and in the end of that, he puts the shockers on and then shocks himself. That goes back to the very beginning of the movie where it opens up and it says initiation of the dead to kill the parasite without harming your physical body. I read that in a book. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So I started kind of basing it around that. So that scene is him trying to get rid of what he doesn't know what's going on, but he's trying to get rid of it by just get out of my head. Obviously it didn't work. And uh, then it goes to the next scene where he's in a psychiatric hospital. And that was where I had an act actor, uh, Tara, came in. I found her on a website, backstage.com. So she did play that role. That scene was a pain in the ass because this is, I hate watching it back because I filmed all my shit first before she came over. And in the scene, I have these contacts in that make you look blurry vision. So like you don't see eyes, it just looks like you're blind or whatever. And then at the end of the scene, I look up and I have these like red and black contacts like show this transformation into this evil. And it worked out great and everything. And then I'm editing the footage and I'm like, oh my God, I never got, I never filmed close-ups of my fucking eyes. Cause with those blurry contacts in, it's hard to fucking see period. I couldn't even bear, I could barely read the paper of my lines. So like, I'm trying to remember the lines, but I'm trying, can't read. So that pissed me off. So I edit it in ways. That's why it looks the way it looks. So to try to see the eyes and, uh, and I couldn't reshoot it because I threw out the contacts because they were one wear, one and done. And then I got blood all over the straight jacket filming that last final scene where he has Tara's character's heart at the end. So there was blood. So I can't go back and film that scene because it's covered in blood. And it was just, but overall, it worked out very well. And I'm very proud of this movie considering it's my second short horror film. And again, I did it by myself. Um, I'm very happy with it. I hope <gasps> you guys enjoyed it, whoever watched it. Because uh, now it's on to the next one. I'm actually already working on the next one. I don't actually know any paper. I'm doing storyboards right now. This one's going to be fucking tweaked. It's like, a, I don't, I'm not even going to say anything about it. Because it won't be done for a while. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take it sleazy. Be positive. Ugh.